Hi, this is Shauna with Valkyrie Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to monetize your website using a really cool in-text advertising tool called InfoLinks that we use ourselves on just about every website we administer and run. It's very simple. You simply sign up to InfoLinks using the link that I have placed in the video description below. And then all you do is you log into your InfoLinks account and you add your website. So you're going to add your web address right here. You're going to select the category that your website best fits under. Then you're going to select the language that your website is in and any other comments that you think InfoLink should know. Once they've had an opportunity to review your website, you'll get a yes or no on whether or not you're approved. Typically they want to approve gambling sites or adult themed sites, but just about everything else will get an approval. After that, you're going to go back into your account details and select how you want to integrate info links into your website. It's very simple and it takes literally about a minute or so. You don't have to be a marketing guru to do this. For the sake of this video, I'm really not going to touch on other platforms. WordPress is predominant out there and it's predominantly uh, growing. It's approximately 25% of all internet real estate right now. So we're going to use WordPress as an example because that's what we do here. So all you're going to do is you're going to select which website you want to integrate info links into. So for the sake of this example, we're going to choose Misadventures and then we're going to click WordPress. Now, it's actually pretty simple here. You're going to download this plugin and it gives you complete instructions on how to download this. Then you log into WordPress and upload the plugin. You activate your plugin and then everything else is completely automated. So this is essentially how you're going to do this. You're going to click this to download. Then you're going to go into your info links or into your WordPress plugins. You're going to select add new. And then you're going to upload the plugin that you just downloaded from InfoLinks. And the name of this plugin when it downloaded was WordPress 30. So we're going to find that. We're going to open this. And then we're going to install it. So it's already been installed on our site, but that's just how you will install it just for your future reference. The way that you access it is actually in your settings tab. You're going to go to settings and then info link settings. You're going to input your publisher ID and also your website ID here. You can choose to exclude info links from certain pages if you like but there's other ways that you can use integration as well and I'll show you how we do it. First you need to locate your publisher ID or PID number. That's right here. So you're just going to take this and you're going to copy this into info links right there. Then you're going to look for your website ID which is listed under all of your accounts. So you can see here the website ID for Misadventures is 4. So you just put in 4 and then you save your settings. After that, you're going to select how you want to integrate info links into your site. Now, they have a lot of different options on, on the display customization. So, for different websites, different things work for us. I'm going to show you what I have selected for Misadventures. What I selected for Misadventures was just two types of integration. One was in text. The other one is in article. I felt like when I added these, these just got a little bit too spammy with the ads and that's not what I want that particular site to be about because I feel like there's other opportunities to monetize it as well without being overly spammy with the ads. So let me show you what that looks like on the Misadventure site just with these two optimization settings in here. In text, as you can see here, we'll put different text options onto your site. Now you can choose either a double line for the text or dot it. You can also choose a unit color for your ads. You can select whether you want one to display, two, all the way up to 12. For this demonstration we're using 12. 
You can turn on in-text ads for misadventures, and you can also apply this to all of your other sites. I don't want it on all of my sites, so that's what we've chosen to do here. In article is something new, and it's a little, it's in beta right now. This is going to say that you need to put this code wherever you want it to appear in your article. If you have the WordPress plugin, which you should, there is no reason for you to need to mess with this at all, so don't. So this is essentially what it's going to look like with just these two things put into Misadventures and how it, it monetizes each and every single blog without me having to go in and fuss with ad code. So this is one of the ways that we've monetized Misadventures. Up here, this is actually not info links. This is a different monetization provider. And one of the things that I have found to be most successful with just about any website is you're putting advertising up at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom of every blog. So this is behaviorally targeted, targeted advertising. So why is it showing me a web hosting and it'll show you something else? Well, it's showing you based on your search history. And since I spend a lot of time on Bluehost because that's who we use for our host, that's what's coming up in front of me just based on my behavior. <clears throat> or my online behavior, rather. So you have all of these things here. Now, these are actual links that I've put in, okay, that link out to other sites. Now, here is your info links ad. So every time somebody clicks on this, you're putting piggies in your piggy bank. So they might, and, and we all know people online have the attention span of a gnat with ADD. It's about seven seconds. So it's okay if they're clicking out to something else because you're still putting yourself in a win-win situation. They can always come back to your blog when you're using the right social media marketing techniques anyway. So don't stress out about that. Now, you see here there's just different pop-ups all the time, and they're contextually based and behaviorally based advertising. So you have all of these different options for people to click through different things on your site, um, you know, for all kinds of different things. They can click out to beauty products. They can click out to you know, different discounts, whatever it is, you know, if, if they have that moment, like I often do and I'm like, oh, I forgot to put in my Walmart order. I forgot to do this. They can do that right there and find out more about different text messaging options as well. So there's tons of different opportunities here where people are clicking out of your site or opening up a new window when they're clicking on these ads and you are able to capture some additional income that you might not have otherwise captured. Now, granted, this is not the only way to monetize a site, and I'm just going to give you another example here of how I monetize my sites effectively. One, I've got a different advertising provider up here. That's a different video altogether. But two, I actually advocate and advertise different products that I'm using when I'm blogging. So this is a brand new blog. Um, as of the date of this video and you know it hasn't gotten any shares yet but I don't ever 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 forget an opportunity to share something so even though rescue time is a free tool it's something that I believe in and something that I use on a daily basis and I want to tell everybody else how excited I am about using rescue time so I use my blog as a venue to do that when I do that as well they have an option to where they can share the picture that's right here on all of their social networks, which is a pretty cool option to have, and that is a website customization feature that we do at Valkyrie Consulting. Then, if they click through to this link and they sign up, guess what? I'm getting paid that way as well. So you can monetize a single blog six to ten different ways without it feeling very spammy by using the right strategies. But for the sake of this blog, we're just going to talk about info links. And I hope that you've learned something about info links today, how you can implement it on your site. Uh, if you have any other questions, concerns, or want some additional information, please visit us online, www.valkyrie.com. And that is it for me and info links today. You have a wonderful one.